In this example, we're being asked to determine f composed g of x, given that f of x equals 2x squared plus 3, and g of x equals square root x plus 1. Rather than looking at a function dependent on a number, we're looking at a function of another function dependent on a number. Another way of writing f composed g of x is this. f composed g of x is f of g of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to find what g of x is and we're going to plug that in for x in our f function. So f composed g of x or f of g of x is equal to 2 g of x squared plus 3. So now I can plug in what g of x is and I get 2 times root x plus 1 all squared plus 3. And now this is just algebra from here on out. We're going to cancel out the square root with the squared and we'll get 2 x plus 1 plus 3. And now expand the brackets and we get f composed g of x is equal to 2x plus 5. So when you compose these two functions together, which are a quadratic function and a square root function, it ends up being linear in this case.